G'day and welcome to Black Opal Direct. My name's Justin. Well, this week we're doing number five. So the fifth stone out of the five we chose. Uh, this one's a broken knobby. So there's another half of a knobby somewhere. I don't know where it is, uh, but it's shown up in the middle that there's a really thick color bar and I'm hoping to cut something really nice out of it. Now, because it's been broken straight in half, um, one side could be flat and the other side could be rounded. So it may be a, a crescent moon shape or something like that. Uh, we won't know until I clean it up and see how much sand is in it and where the nice color sits. So let's get on the wheel and uh, see how it goes. Speaking of wheels, Well, you may have noticed that there's a different machine sitting next to my old machine. And um, finally, I've been doing a fair bit of work on this machine, testing it out and making sure it's okay and it's good for other people to use. And I can happily say that this Cab King is, is a beast. It's a magnificent beast. It's really easy to put together and it comes shipped in a solid wooden box. So the whole arbor won't get damaged in transport. It's so well protected. The reason why I'm changing over is because many of you are asking, um, where do you get your machines from? And 80% of you are in the USA. And unfortunately, the machines I've been using, you can't get in the USA. So um, Cab King and I have done a bit of a deal together. I said I will after I've tested the machine. So I have been testing it quite vigorously and I'm happy to say it, it passes with flying colors. So if you're looking to buy a machine, um, I can recommend one of these. Now, there's some really good benefits about this machine that I like. And this is the, the eight inch six wheel. So this is a monster. It's really a, really a big machine. So it makes it quite solid, um, but all of the things around this spindle, all of this, is all replaceable. You can take it apart. It's connected together by magnets. So everything clicks and clacks. So if in, for instance, if I want to take this side bit off, all I got to do is click it out and that's protecting you from the spray coming out the sides of the machine. And I'll just click straight back in there and every single part of it is easy to put together. And as you can see in this time-lapse that I did, um, everything is quite easy. I did look at the instructions for a bit, but I didn't really need to. It was all pretty self-explanatory. I really like the fact that it's got these extra guards all around it that keep the water in because I've had a problem in the past where my benches have got really wet over time and um, the wood in the, in the bench has started to sag from being wet so much. So these really do protect very well also, this plastic guard here, this is the only thing that I got um, custom made. So I took these to a plastic fabricator and I got them to cut a, about a centimetre off. And the reason was so that you could see with the camera, you could still see the wheels. So because we're filming, I needed that a little bit gone. So it's gone now and it makes actually no difference to the amount of spray that comes out of the wheels. So I'm really happy with that too. It is a beast. Now let's listen to the sound of it. I'll just adjust that plastic there so it's just not quite touching the wheel. And you can see here that it's, it's actually not that noisy. It doesn't have any belts. It has a machine. The motor runs right through the middle of the shaft. So there's no other moving parts other than the wheel itself. And it's made so well that you will find that while I'm talking, this spins for a good minute or two after I've turned it off. So um, pretty amazing. The bearings are spot on. So if you're looking to buy a cutting machine, uh, I'd highly recommend the Cab King. We've done a bit of a deal together um, since I believe in it so much that you can buy a Cab King. You'll pay full price for Cab King, but any type of wheel or spare parts, spaces, everything that's on their website, you get a 10% discount with our code. And um, look at it, it's still spinning after 
a minute or two of talking. It's just ridiculous. So go and check them out. Um, they're really good. You can buy them in America. You can buy them in Australia. Um, you can buy them pretty much everywhere they're shipped. So um, great machines. Let's get back to the cutting of that beautiful little gem. Where is it? Where'd you go? Here it is. <laughs> Let's go. All right, well, very pretty color. And on the other side of the piece, it's still very messed up. So a very sandy on the outside. So I really need to clean it up before I can decide what to do with it. So I'm gonna just give it a bit of a clean on the wheel. Let's get the wheel going. You can hear that nice, quite quiet wheel. Let's turn a bit of the water on. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna just try and clean up some of that sand. See how far it goes in. So it goes in a far, fair way. There is a natural crack sitting in here too, I've noticed. Um, if I shine the torch in there, there's a shard I need to get rid of. Uh-oh, looks like things are about to turn for the worst. You can see that there, so you can take that in just a bit. probably gone now, I'd say it's gone. No, oh, no, it's still there. Alright. Wow. You can see that, can't you? Let me turn it down. There is a crack right through the middle of that stone, which I did not know was there. Until I cleaned it up, you can see it right there, it's very clear as day. But there's a quite a decent crack. And that takes a lot away from the stone. Wow. Well, that's ruined it for me. What a bummer. Alright, uh, well, the only thing I can do is pretty much take the top off. Uh, see what happens underneath the top and then maybe work around that crack. Okay. Not a great uh, beginning, that's for sure. Oi. 
see, there is the crack. So hidden away in this piece um, was this crack. So even with water on it, I couldn't see that crack. But now it's shown itself and now we're done. So I can work with. Oh well, it can't be always rainbows and butterflies. Out of the five pieces, one of them had to turn south. And unfortunately, it was this one. Well, that wasn't quite as expected. Uh, having a nice large crack going right through the middle of that color bar, um, it happens, so there's nothing we can do about it. But I was thinking a cushion cut might be a good cut, but I did expect it to be a beautiful high domed cushion cut. Uh, but with that crack, I've had to take it down. Obviously it broke out as you saw, and now we have to have a low cut cushion cut, which is fine. Um, it's better than nothing at all, so let's get this thing polished. Well, crap. When things get you down, it's up to you how you want to react. You can choose to have the world fall around you, or you can use it as a learning curve. I mean, what's the point of dwelling in the past, when just around the corner, there could be something fantastic about to happen? Because positivity breeds positivity, and negativity breeds negativity. And I definitely know which one I'd choose. So this time round, we ended up with a 1.85 carat crystal opal. There was lots of potch on the back beforehand, but now it's all gone. The crack had made the stone much smaller than I had hoped, and we're only looking at around about a $600 gem. And I'm positive the next one will be better. Until next time.